Hey, it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church with another Proverbs Practical. I appreciate you watching. Today's proverb encourages us to think before we act or speak. We're in Proverbs 29, verse 20, and it says, Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. So this is another one of those proverbs that can really make you say, Ouch! It warns us that being quick to speak is a devastating character flaw that leads to a devastating destiny. And really, the word for words here, man, that's hasty in his words, it can literally be matters. That is our business, our undertakings, our decisions. It can go beyond words, but it definitely includes our words. So the warning is to look before we leap and think before we speak. Words can do so much harm and cause so much damage. Finding the right words and the right time to say them is really hard work. So often it's easier to just say what we feel like when we feel like it, or to do what feels right in the moment rather than thinking through the pros and cons, the possibilities and probabilities and sums. But James will tell us in the New Testament that we should be swift to hear but slow to speak. Proverbs has indicated all the way through that careful thought is better than impulsive action. And here we get an idea of how seriously this affects us. It says there's more hope of a fool than of the person who is hasty to speak. And the fool is pretty bad in the wisdom books of the Bible. He's the one who lives as though there is no God. He's got all kinds of characteristics, but it's all driven by his lack of the fear of the Lord. He's pragmatic rather than moral, focused on what he wants instead of what others need. He's predatory and he doesn't care who he hurts. And throughout the book of Proverbs, we see that the fool is headed for trouble unless he's willing to change and something turns him from his course. The wise incline their lives toward length and peace and happiness, but the fool won't have any of those things. His destiny is dark. However, this says that the hasty speaker is in even more trouble. He has even less hope than a fool of a good outcome. Words, once spoken, can never be taken back. While they can be apologized for and forgiven, they do real harm, both to others and to ourselves, and the damage they do often simply can't be undone. A fool can make different, better decisions later, but the words that have been spoken cannot be unspoken. And we all make mistakes with our words. James talks pretty extensively about that, too, how the tongue is a fire that no one can completely tame. But cutting our mouths off from our brains so that we don't think before we speak is a surefire way to make even more mistakes than we would otherwise. If we want better outcomes in our lives, one of the simplest and most direct ways we can improve ourselves, our relationships, our situations, and our destinies is to stop and think before we speak or act. There's definitely a time to be decisive and take action. But that time is usually after we've thought through the options and possibilities, heard all the sides of the story, made sure we understand the context and the setting. The old saying is that haste makes waste, and nowhere is that more true than with our words. But with everything in our lives, let's not be in a hurry to destruction, because destruction is where we're headed when we hurry. I hope this video is a blessing to you. If it is, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insights from Scripture. Until next time, I hope you stay well and think before you act or speak.